Hello, welcome. As you did your search for building a standard spreadsheet and importing standards into PowerSchool, you came up with a knowledge-based article of step-by-step -step process to build a standard spreadsheet to import standards into PowerSchool, or you came up with steps how to import a standard spreadsheet into PowerSchool. We're going to spend a little bit of time on both of those today. The first article, Step-by-Step -step Process to Build a Standard Spreadsheet to Import Standards into PowerSchool, is laid out for you in a few easy steps. And it shows you a spreadsheet, and it shows you step two and all the fields that you need to fill in to prepare a standard spreadsheet to import. And it takes you through all of those processes and those steps. I'm going to show you a standard spreadsheet. So if you came to a standards class or you received and prepared with your staff the pre-standards document, you probably received a series of these spreadsheets from PowerSchool specialists here in North Dakota. There's quite a few fields that are vitally important to this process. We'll go through those here in a little bit. And then we'll go back to how we're going to import that into PowerSchool. So we're kind of taking care of two knowledge-based articles here with just one little video. The important fields are, well, first and most important is what are those st standards going to be that you're going to import? What are those standards that your teachers have chosen and have spent time working on to import into PowerSchool? And that's your column O, that's your name. Okay, so here you see a first grade standard a reading standard which is aligned to the first grade standard and then you have six what we call priority skills and under those priority skills then are there specific standards that you're going to spend time in the classroom starting with your reading literature and then it rolls into your reading informational text okay so you have your fiction and your nonfiction skills now the important things to consider about this these are going to show up exactly as you put in a, in your spreadsheet so it's gonna be named and look like and have as much text and have the words you want as you have in this spreadsheet that's why this process is so important many schools will use I can statements you want to make it brief and direct and to the point what is in the spreadsheet prepared for you is simply the state skills listed with educational terminology doesn't always make sense to kids and parents so you're going to want to make sure you go through these your teachers go through these and they prepare the skills that they want and they have the statements that they want we used I can statements because then we could post those they were simply to, simple to understand and they went that way right into our report card as well another important field that you need to consider in this process jumps us to column B which is your identifier so in this case you can see standard one the identifier of one is your first grade skill that's going to hold all your first grade standards be it ELA math social studies science whatever you put in they're all going to go under first grade skill in this case you're starting with 1.R which is a first grade reading skill makes sense and then you're going to roll into read closely to determine what the text says which is 1.R. KI1, which is Knowledge Information 1, which is your priority standard under reading. And then it rolls down through that in order, and then you get to your reading literature standard 1, 2, 3. So it makes sense the way we have the identifier set up. thing to know about identifiers is once they've been assigned, they can't be used for another standard ever. And they should have a flow to them. They should make sense. There should be an order to them. So you can use the identifier we have created for you here, or you can create your own. Makes no real difference. Next most important column, H and I are vitally important to the process. That's what assigns your grade scale. Now I really isn't used because we use PAR Teacher Pro. It's for the old grade book, but it needs to be in the spreadsheet either way. H is the grade scale that you're going to use in PAR Teacher Pro. Ours is 595, conversion skills 4087. We're going to go look at where these numbers come from. So we're actually going to jump to PowerSchool. I'm going to log into PowerSchool. Oh, 
once we get into power school we're going to work from the district office standards grade skills all of that is housed at the district office okay so how do you decide what number this is under the grade scale item DCID and what number this is under the conversion scale ID well if you go district under setup under grading to grade scales you have your list of grade scales for lots of your courses right through the history of PowerSchool and in this case we use the career ready practice scale which is item 595 and that's what it said in our spreadsheet is item 595 and this is very simply if we open that up our 4321 scale okay so then we go find that conversion scale which is district under setup and in this case it's under standards and there's your conversion scales and again here's our career ready, career ready practice scale which is 4087 which is what we have in our spreadsheet and we attach those simply that way okay so we have reviewed name vitally most important what do you want to call your standard which standards do you want to put in in ELA there's hundreds of standards which ones are you going to start with where are you going to begin this is teacher driven should be teacher work this is the work they should have done to prepare to get ready to implement standards into your district we talked about identifier being vitally important we talked about grade scale column H DCID and conversion scale ID we also talked about those courses where are you going to attach them in this case a first grade reading standard is going to go to the reading one course you can put English one here you can put writing one here you can put phonics one here you and your teachers need to decide where we're going to align these in the, in the grade book teachers have many sections uh, we went to two sections reading and writing we got rid of all the other grammar phonics spelling sections and we just assigned our standards to those simple courses okay so once all of that is done you're ready to import a spreadsheet into PowerSchool in most cases we'd ask you to send said spreadsheet to a PowerSchool representative and we'll import for you but I'll show you what the process looks like okay so once we're all filled in I'm going to go to a file save as and we're gonna save this as a tab delimited text okay Okay, so I've got that saved and then I'm going to go back to PowerSchool. Back in PowerSchool, we're going to go back to our start page and again, we're still in the district office. Steps are pretty simple, but you have to follow them carefully. So it's special functions, importing and exporting, data import manager. I'm going to browse for that spreadsheet that I saved, which is right here. Pops right in there, ready to go and then I'm going to go find the standards district list it's not even hard to guess which one it is you're going to go you're importing standards in a district list into your school so you're going to choose that list click next now you're going to map your columns okay you're going to make sure what the import file says versus what PowerSchool has to see and you can see most of them will all match up well because that spreadsheet was created for you by us for this process courses is an interesting one you have to change that to primary courses and then all your fields are matched up and you're saying hold on type and level well they're not necessary so you can just leave those blank and then we'll click next and we have to make sure we check to exclude the first row and if a record file already is in the system so for example if you see a 1.r skill it's not going to process a record it's going to skip it and then you just import and once you hit that part you're going to go here to import those that those standards it's going to run the process it's going to tell me how many worked and how many didn't work and then you might have to fix up some rows depending on that process that is how you prepare a spreadsheet for importing into PowerSchool and that is how you import a spreadsheet into PowerSchool thank you